Built in 1979, the Iron Horse, a music venue in downtown Northampton, has been a hub for the local music scene. Since its purchase in 1995, the Iron Horse and its owner, Eric Schur, have had its fair share of controversy. In 2019, several former employees of the Iron Horse accused Schur of violating labor laws, and by the end of the case, they found out that over 20 other workers' rights were violated by Schur, leading to a fine of $100,000. In 2020, the Iron Horse temporarily closed due to COVID, but in the light of the worker controversy, it is yet to reopen. The city has made efforts to get sure to reopen, including revoking his liquor license unless he sold it or reopened. Today, the Parlor Room, another venue in Northampton, has decided to purchase the Iron Horse from Eric Schur in hopes of reopening the venue. The, the Parlor Room uh, decided to, to move towards the purchase of the Iron Horse because we saw that it was open and the liquor license commission here there's some there was some local politics going on of um to uh take away the liquor licenses of the of the previous owner and so we knew that there would be some movement but really what influenced it is the legendary status of the venue and of what it means to the town i'm a musician i've played the iron horse many times i know what it means to musicians and and to the like economic development of our town and it's just a really fun place to to spend a night and it deserves to be open again so the parlor room has been around here for now coming up on 11 years um it's been a part of signature sounds uh, recordings. The record label's been around for about 35 years now and uh, 11 years ago they opened uh, this venue and have our, we have our offices in the back. Um, but then it transitioned, the parliament transitioned to being a nonprofit in January this, of this year, uh, which basically nonprofit ownership means that it's community owned. There's a board of directors that, that run it and make the financial decisions, but it's, there's no single owner. Of, of a nonprofit. And so our mission now as a nonprofit is to enhance the health and vitality of our community through the power of music. We do that through our school of music, through our small venue here in the parlor room, and now we'll be continuing to do that at the Air House. So we're still in early processes of, of all of that. Our lease doesn't actually begin at the Iron Horse till November 1st, uh, but there'll be some some renovations that, that we do, it needs a new floor. We're gonna be working on making the um, bathrooms more handicap accessible uh, and hopefully making it a more comfortable experience for everybody coming in to see the shows. I'm sure a lot of high school students uh, maybe have never been there before or it's been, it's been closed now for, for quite a while, but, um, but it's a legendary, place the artists that have played there over the over the 45 years since the iron horse began has been really a incredible legacy of, of talent that has come through this relatively small city so we're really lucky to to live in a city that has these this kind of uh, musical history and and uh and it's a really important part of of the nightlife so our goal is to is to work through the through the summer or sorry through the winter on renovations and hopefully be open in the spring. For the most part, we're not really trying to change all the things that people love about it. Um, we're trying to bring back the music that it, that made the place so special. Um, so we're hoping to have uh, you know twenty shows a month there for much of the year. We're hoping to have shows that um, that help bring people to restaurants in town and also bring in uh, all ages into the into the venue. Uh, so we're hoping to have a diverse lineup. We're hoping to attract diverse uh, customers to come in and just create a community space that uh, everybody can enjoy. Make sure to support your local venues and go see a show when the Iron Horse reopens. Thank you for watching Culture Shock.